Hey there, today I am sharing how to have a National Lampoon's Christmas vacation party like a Griswold family. 2019 is the 30th anniversary of National Lampoon's Christmas vacation movie. So I'm going to share food, decorations, game prize ideas, and some game and costume ideas as well that we did when we had our Christmas vacation party last year at our house with 50 of our friends. I'm also going to share what I would not do if I was having a 30th anniversary party this year. I will link the wording of our invitation that we emailed out to everybody, as well as a parting gift note about friendship that is super sweet down below. But the invitation says, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation Costume Party. Join us for the hap hap happiest Christmas party. We will have costume prizes, game prizes, some, some other prizes, and some that keep on giving throughout the entire year. And we had, we told them that we were having brisket and beans from our local Rudy's barbecue restaurant. And we also told them to wear a costume and to bring their favorite Christmas time dessert. As far as National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation Party food goes, we recommend a little bowl of white chocolates or white Mentos that are going to be the Tylenol that Clark asks for at the end of the movie when he loses it because of his boss. Um, and so we had a bowl of that with a little sign and I just recommend that you find some pictures on the internet. We also just bought bags of Chex Mix and put those in a bowl and then had a little sign in it saying Snot's Puppy Chow. Nobody ate that and nobody ate the white chocolates that we had from M&M's. And by the way, I will link everything that I talk about down below in the description box. Most of it is from Amazon and the like. And we also knew that one of our friends was coming as Aunt Bethany and she was making her own jello mold. You can just use green jello and add Cheerios to it to look like the cat food from the Christmas Vacation movie. And surprisingly, half of it was gone by the end of the party. So don't use real cat food. <laughs> I did get a lot of inspiration for our creativity around our house for this party from Pinterest. And I have a Pinterest page, Laurie Pop Ideas That Pop. And the board is Griswold Party Ideas. If you just search that, you'll see all the ones that I saved. But we do have some ideas that we made on our own that I wanna share with you. It's so much fun. People get really into this designing a costume and bringing food. Okay, we had 50 people come to this party. Every person we sent an invitation to was able to come. And this is our first one, but here's what we thought or found out about the food. We ordered way too much barbecue. The restaurant told us for 50 people, you need this much barbecue and about half of it was eaten. That We had bought the little chafing dishes and the burners on Amazon, I'll link those below. But then we also recommend just having all of the meat on the table because you are going to forget it because you're hosting the party and having games. And then we had three quarts of beans and they were all gone by the end of the party. We served iced tea, sangria, and beer. None of the beer was taken pretty much, and the sangria was taken, and then iced tea. We had 35 water bottles for 50 people, and only 17 were taken. If you host your National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation Party at the very beginning of December, it's right when everybody is getting in the Christmas spirit and they want to make something Christmassy or a dessert. So ask people to bring food so that the pressure is off of you and you can just relax during the party. As far as National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation decorations go, my husband decorated the outside of the house. He wanted everyone to think that our house looked like the Chevy Chase house. And he bought Christmas lights in the shape of grids. So they were like a net of Christmas lights. When they arrive at your house, they are all rolled up. So you need to let them settle in. And we suggest hanging them from nails in your garage so that they can straighten out. So that when you do nail them to your house, they will hang straight down and not roll up on you. And then we connected those lights or those nets of lights with zip ties. And then we also set up a six foot ladder and then tore off the sleeve of a plaid shirt. My husband bought a brand new plaid shirt and tore off the sleeve and stapled it to the gutter or whatever. And then the night of the party, we had a spotlight on it. Lots of extension cords are needed for all these lights. I saw a party wreath 
lined or wrapped in extension cords and it was so cute. I think it was from a construction birthday party, but I tried and I just could not make it work. So I just printed out a sign with the green station wagon, Griswold family tree, Meli Kamiki Maka, welcome. And I just taped that piece of paper to a little cheap wreath or a wreath that I already had as a welcoming sign on our front door. The hardest thing to find was an RV big sign. I wanted floor to ceiling, uh, plastic wrap or something that was decorated like an RV for a photo booth section. We could not find that. But my husband wanted a year before this party, he knew he wanted to rent an RV. And so how we recommend doing that is looking for a local rental of an RV and say you just want it for one night, you don't wanna get inside it, they can just park it in your driveway or wherever. We wanted it to be dirtied up, but it came clean, it's everything. But the people who were who delivered our RV, they were so fascinated with this idea, they loved it, you know, and we sent them pictures. And then we also found at Home Depot that I'll link below, an inflatable Griswold Christmas tree on top of the car. I thought it was going to be huge and you can see that we're a little bigger than that. And then I also cut out a black piece of card stock in the shape of a flat cat who got electrocuted by the Christmas tree. And I just stretched cotton balls over that and just put it on the side of one of the rooms on the floor for people to see. When people walked through the front door, we had a Christmas tablecloth color over a table and with a little picture frame, I printed out a colored sign that said, write your character name and your name on your name tag. And then I had markers and I had just labels, like this size labels uh, for people to write that information on. We bought a zip file of Clark Griswold National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation decoration for photo booth props on Etsy. And I suggest you just buy one and then what we did is we printed them out at FedEx Kinko's. But remember that you're going to have to cut most of them out and only two people out of the 50 people who came used those photo props. You can have some there, but remember you're gonna have to cut them out and put them on a dowel rod as well. And we just used two pieces of masking tape to help secure it. But what I also did was I used some of them because I was so tired of cutting. I just put those on my kitchen cabinets and wherever the main party is going to take place. The number one item you need to get if you are having a National Lampoon's Christmas party is the Clark Griswold cutout. It is easy to use, it's from Amazon. You just flap this piece of cardboard over and it stands up securely, no problem whatsoever. Our cat was petrified of it. <laughs> Some of the costume ideas were so clever. Uncle Eddie's wife, Catherine, is spot on one of the easiest things to do. Wear a few shades of brown and then cut a little curly green ribbon and just pin it in your hair. My friend Janine had the attic scene where Clark is looking at all the old video footage and uh, she found her aqua turban on Amazon. I'll link that below and just a little mink stole, I think they're called. And then the light pink gloves are awesome. And and her husband was the best Uncle Eddie in the bathrobe scene. He showed up and I mean, we did not want him to sit down. That robe was so short. So a tip for that costume is to buy a woman's size. But anyway, you bring a six pack of old Miller Light or Miller Life beer, just the old classic looking, hilarious. I wanted to be a moose mug, so I just cut out poster board ears and then I had to use the poster board because it was so stiff to make a band to fit it around my head and then I bought this shirt on Amazon with the moose mug on it that they're drinking the eggnog out of at the end of the party. My husband got his light blue Uncle Eddie outfit on Amazon and my friend Michelle bought long sleeve and long pants floral pajamas and then that nice long robe and it's right when Clark first calls everyone out of the house and says, come look, look everybody, and then the lights don't work. And then if you wanna do the whole flannel sleeve staple to the house scene, you could wear a flannel shirt with the sleeve cut off, a blue vest, and then 
carry a staple gun or wear those little construction gloves, all that kind of thing. You can also dress like Audrey and just wear 80s themes. One of our friends was the electrocuted cat, and that is one of the simplest costumes to pull off. A black t-shirt and then glue or staple on cotton in the shape of a flat white cat. <laughs> If you're gonna dress like Uncle Eddie drinking the eggnog, um, I suggest you buy a cheap turtleneck and then cut out it so it looks like that dicky underneath the white sweater, the really thin white sweater. That was a great idea. And then you can also get these glass um, mousse mugs to drink out of. So you can come to the party holding that with some iced tea in it or something, coffee, whatever. And the winners of our costume party were Clark's boss wearing his blue plaid pajamas. They got it at Walmart, I think. And then the red bow tied around and the wife wearing all of her garb for going to bed. <laughs> Now we are in Houston and it was so hot for these people trying to dress up like uh, it's winter outside in Chicago. <laughs> okay, some game ideas for your National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation Party are number one, line up an ABC order of your favorite Christmas movie. Now at the beginning of a party, people tend to group themselves near people they knew or know and we want to everybody to mingle a little bit. So when you line them up in ABC order, spouses are separated and you're standing now near people that you might not know. And that's the first game. Then we tell them about the food we have and then we start the trivia game. I will link where we got a lot of our trivia questions below in the description box. Some of the trivia game questions were, what is the most popular jelly company? How many lights did Clark Griswold use on the house? What's the name of the dog? Which jelly of the month goes well with peanut butter? Another game that we had, which ended up kind of being boring, and I don't know if it's because it was the third game or what, um, it was the jelly tasting contest. You know, they had the jelly club of the month gift at the end of the movie. Well, we had five different jellies for people to taste and we asked who wanted, we just asked for volunteers. So five couples were up there, I think, and the spouse was giving, uh, blindfolding them and giving them a taste of the jelly. It was way too long and our house was packed with food and so storage for all those jellies in little plastic cups was hard to hard to find and we had to do it in advance like we had to put the jelly in each cup in advance so I would just suggest like having two people do it or five people and only having two jellies to taste um, our jellies that we had were strawberry pineapple apricot red plum grape and peach mango those are some that are out there and available we also recommend not having the games in the same location. We had all of the games happen at the front of our den. I would do the front first two there and then another area have your last game or your trivia game or your jelly tasting game. And then we gave away gifts or prizes for this game and some costume parties. We have, uh, since my channel is about travel tips because I'm a pilot wife, uh, we have collected over the years several first class amenity kits. And we also gave away a glass uh, mousse mug. I found a moose mug ornament all kinds of themed uh, people are not expecting a gift but a gift that goes with the theme of the movie was so fun to buy i didn't mind spending the money i have to go have lunch with people so i need to stop video and i will come back and video it later here are some of the props that we used i printed them out on at fedex kinko's like i said and then just had them in an area beside our uh, clark griswold cutout and you can see this is where we put the tape on the back but it's a lot to cut out, so just remember that. <laughs> when people were leaving our party, I had a basket full of gift bags and I just tied on a little message about friendship. I think it's most important to have the, just some jelly packets in there because the write-up has to do with jelly and friendship. I will link that below as well. It says, this year, we hope that all of your grapes of wrath and sour grapes can be stomped to the side and that you can squeeze all the memories you can into 2019. We want you to know that your friendship is like a jelly of the month club. It's the gift that keeps on giving the whole year through. And this ain't no canned friendship. It's one we want to preserve forever. Let's spread friendship all around this town. Thank you for coming to our party. I made that up. <laughs> Travel tips by Laurie. 
Okay, let us know if you have a National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation Party and any new ideas, just leave them below and have fun being creative and treating your friends.